Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the second part of the lecture uh, about the network analysis, microwave network analysis. We left out uh, from the calculation and derivation of its parameters. So we left off from here, that way we will start. I give you a very brief uh, about the parameters in the last video. Uh, here we will we will try to learn the detail about it. Uh, connecting to the last video, I already told that the S parameters uh, makes things very simpler by taking the current away from the equation. Whereby it replaces those currents and voltages with different types of voltages, such as anything which is plus which have plus here is called applied or incident voltage here it's written applied but you can call it incident also and anything is negative here we call it the reflected voltage so anything which is reflecting back or output voltage you can call it also but usually we don't call it output in RF uh, network analysis so the, the word is called reflected voltage. So here is the port. Uh, here, is a, here is a device which have two ports, port one and port two. It's similar like the last one where we considered an end port network. Uh, for two port network, actually, we will be only this much where it's like this. So in this port one, we have uh, applied and reflected voltage going in com incoming and outgoing. And similarly for, for port two, we have V2 plus, which is incident voltage, and this is reflected voltage. The relationship between that is, this is the matrix of the reflected voltage, and this is the matrix of the applied voltage or incident voltage and multiplied by the S parameters. Similarly, that what we have done for Y and Z parameters, this one multiplies with this, this one multiplies with this to find out this one and so on. Doing so, actually we have two equations where we can really applying some conditions. We can find out S11, S12, S21, S22, and so on, and so forth. This is mostly similar to, to the other um, Y and Z matrix also. However, to make things easier to write, we are replacing all the applied voltages to A and all the reflected voltages to B because sometimes V minus one and V plus two is difficult to write. So we just consider this is A. If it's port one, then it's A1, which is applied. So A means applied and B means a reflected one, which becomes somehow like this. So B, this is a reflected voltage of port one. This is reflected voltage of port two. Incident voltage incident voltage and then this is the s parameter matrix but similarly we get these two equations where if we consider that a2 is 0 then we get s11 is equal to b1 by a1 where the b1 uh, the s11 actually signifies the reflection at port one means the reflection coefficient of, of port one if the other ports are max means the port two is in this case since this is the two port network so the port two is matched so um, similarly if you try to make uh, this one zero then we get s21 here 
which is reflected voltage at port 2 and then incident voltage at port 1. The ratio between them is this one. That's what we're calling it the transmission coefficient. If it's from 1 to 2 port, then we call it forward transmission. If it's for, from port to 2, from port 2 to 1, then we call it reverse transmission. This two means actually how much power is transmission transmitting from port 1 to 2 and from 2 to 1. It's not always the same, but uh, sometimes in the passive networks, these are the same. And this one and this one is mostly the same. These are called the reflection coefficient. It, it comes in a similar fashion where we say A is equal to 0, then this term equals 0, and 2, 2 is equal to B over A2, B2 over A2, which is the reflected voltage at port 2 and the incident voltage at port 2. So that's how this is the significance of this S, uh, all the S parameters. This is what the practical significance of these things. If somebody wants to measure the, what is how much reflection is coming, then it will they will measure S11. If want to somebody wants to measure that how much transmission is going on from port 1 to port 2 and then they will measure it S to one this is uh, these all things are defined actually in any device which is related to related to the rf measurement all the devices like vn vector network analyzer and spectrum analyzer and other other devices also one thing need to discuss now is what is the matched so if we want to measure port one sometimes we need to we cannot just leave the port two open we need to do something which is called meshed. Uh, in the next slide here, we see how the matching things, mesh things can, can be done. When we try to measure port 1 measurement, which is S11 and S21, then we need to connect here exactly the same amount of load of the characteristics impedance. If the characteristics impedance is 50 ohm, then this part needed to be connected with the 50 ohm. Here we connected with the 50 ohm, which is meshed. So then we can measure all the things for port one. Remember this one in the, in, the, in in examples or in the in the problems. Maybe we need to do analyze something like this. Because whenever we want to measure something at port 1, we need to connect at port 2, the characteristic impedance is exactly the same as 50 ohm in this case. Similarly, if this is the port 2, we need to measure, and then the port 1 needed to be also connected, or we call it actually terminated. Terminated with, because this is the end, right? So, terminated with. 50 ohm same so remember this thing this is somehow important term when we're going to try to solve the problem associated to to s one s parameter and when we try to calculate s parameters we need to do it this is the condition to measure the s parameters here there are some uh, laws of of the uh, of the micro network analysis which is like reciprocity on symmetry symmetric or not hmm. so these are the things that i have written for you. you you read about it but i will go directly to the example and tell you what is the the way to find out is this a reciprocal uh, or, or or the or the symmetric or not hmm. so this one also you 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 try you can because this is just a uh, it's, 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 it's about the symmetry actually. First, the to find any symmetric network, it needed to be reciprocal first. Mm. So then we find how symmetry happens. But symmetry means that any any uh, S parameter matrix, if you transpose it, even though if you transpose, they become the same. It's like this. A, B, if you transport this one, transpose this one, this comes here and this goes here, similarly this one. These two have to be equal, otherwise it cannot. 
but you know this this seems a little right i know maybe complex but if we go to the example we'll understand it better uh in simple way to say it that if any matrix z12 is equal to 2 1 y12 is equal to y21 and s12 is equal to s21 then this is a reciprocal network okay uh, we we come back to here again here okay so this one and this one if, if this and this is equal then this is reciprocal okay this is reciprocal however first we need to check that this, the the network is reciprocal or not if this is reciprocal then you need to find out that whether it's symmetric or not if you find out the circuit or the network is not reciprocal inherently this is not a symmetric one so remember this one that if for any network reciprocity is the first one to find out whether it's going to later on symmetrical or not if it's not reciprocal then it cannot be symmetric but it's not necessarily that if it's reciprocal that it can be symmetry also so for symmetrical you need to find out that z1122 is equal is equal or not and so on and so forth so s11 is equal to s22 then it become uh, symmetric network but again i'm saying it had to be reciprocal first we go to an example few example actually see here it, this one is not this is reciprocal right because this s21 z21 is equal to z12 so this is reciprocal but this is not equal so this is reciprocal but not symmetrical this two is equal but this two is not equal so reciprocal not symmetrical this two is equal but this two is not equal so reciprocal but not symmetrical however see this two is equal and this two is equal means reciprocal and symmetrical so i hope this this uh, is, is, is uh, quite uh, is understandable for understandable for you uh, this is the summary but uh, we didn't cover this this one here maybe later on in another stage or another uh, a video i will i will try to find out whether we need to learn it or not uh, here is one more thing that we have to learn the third so far we learned about the reciprocity symmetry right but there is one more thing that we need to find out that whether the system is lossless or not so if the system is lossless then let's say this is the uh s parameter here the rules are this one so if it's a lossless then these three this and this and this have to be uh have to be followed so s11 square s21 square have to be one and s21 square and s22 square have to be one similarly not only this one once you find out that this is one but you need to check whether s11 multiplied by s12 conjugate plus s21 and s22 conjugate if you multiply and add then these two different products it have to be zero so so here s11 and this is s21 right at v1 and this one was s21 and s22 have to be so this so have to be one and then this multiplied by this this multiplied by this have to be zero uh, then it become we will go to example and then we will find it out uh, so uh, I put put up um, some like proof of this one is is up to you if you want to want to go for it you look for it that if it's uh, uh, if
if it fits for you if you want to understand this one like this but it's up to you if you if you go go for it but uh, i will not discuss detail about it it's up to you this is your uh, your task to do to see the proof but remember this these things okay these things are important if somebody asks you to whether it's lossless or not then you need to find out somehow like this another so let's say that uh, this one we need to prove that whether it's, this is uh, is lossless or not so to lossless this one have to be satisfying first let's say this one and this one so this one square and we find out this is one and also we find out that this one multiplied by this one is supposed to be minus 2 here minus 99 here actually is one also so this two satisfied right now we need to find out that s11 multiplied by s12 conjugate conjugate means if this is a complex quantity since there is no complex quantity here so the conjugate is same as the s12 so s11 and s12 and we multiply and then s21 and s22 we multiply and then we get zero similarly if you multiply like this you will get zero that's how we find out this system is lossless uh, in the next video uh, we will do two different example to fulfill uh, our network network analysis uh, topic and that will be the last video so that much for now see you in the next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi